Imagine earning $1,000 every month by doing nothing, by just creating a website. And trust me, this is going to be the easiest and best passive source of income for you all. Also, this video is not sponsored and I will show you the payout proofs too. Just make sure you're watching the complete tutorial. So if it is your first time here or in case you didn't remember, I'm Divya Sharon and now without wasting any more time, let's get started. So for those who want to see the proofs before starting this video can refer to the link given below in the video's description so you will be more motivated about this topic. Alright so as we know first we will need to make a website don't worry you don't need to code or something you can simply go to wordpress and create an account there. Wordpress comes with a lot of templates you can simply select one and they will do all the coding job done for you. Since wordpress will give you a domain like your website name .wordpress.com and such free domains won't work. So we will need to get a domain for your website. Now in simpler words domain is nothing it's just name of your website. For example helloworld.com so this is going to be a little investment something around 75 rupees which is around one dollar for a year you will see multiple domain options and you can choose any according to your preference but still your domain name matters a lot so make sure you check the article about choosing perfect domain for your website which can really bring a great impact on your website so the article link is given below in the video's description now after purchasing domain the last investment is buying a hosting platform for your website coming to hosting platforms it will cost you around 1900 rupees for a year something around 23 dollars and trust me this investment amount will be your daily earning after the time. You can go with monthly plans too which will cost you around 230 rupees which will be around 3 dollars for a month. And there is no limitation for buying host or domain from any specific company. You can choose it by your own but still if you want detailed pricing comparison of domains and hosting you can refer to the article whose link you will find in the description. That will make you decide easily. Now once you are done with these three major steps creating a wordpress account, buying a domain as well as hosting platform for your website you are almost 50% done. Now after purchasing host you will get name servers which you have to update in your domain provider platform. So just copy the name servers from your host provider's dashboard to your domain provider. It will take something around 2-3 to three hours to connect with the name server. Now if you will buy a dedicated WordPress hosting then WordPress will be pre-installed. All you will need to do is to log in the WordPress account you created but in other hostings you will find an option to install WordPress from the cPanel dashboard of the host provider. So now the setup of the website is done. You can now log in directly to your WordPress by creating your own login link. Now coming to the revenue generation part we will make money from the website by connecting it to Google AdSense. Google AdSense will put ads on your website and you will get paid for it. But there are certain terms and conditions which you have to follow and implement for getting Google AdSense approval. Now we will talk about the important steps and implementations which you will have to do for getting the approval. First you will need to have at least 25 posts on your website so start writing articles related to the genre of the website. Also make sure you are placing images between the paragraphs and you are not copying data from any different website or articles because Google's plagiarism checker is world class and you cannot fool it. After this you will have to make 4 pages. A lot of people skip this part and that's why they get rejection from Google AdSense. You will have to make 4 pages on a WordPress site, their privacy policy, terms and conditions page, contact us and about us page. You will get format in each and every detail of these websites in the article whose link is also in the video's description. Now once you are done with all these just start sharing your website on your social handles and let some organic traffic come to your website. Also according to Google AdSense policy the domain needs to be 2 weeks old. So just follow these steps I mentioned and your website will get approval for sure. Now the last step is to create an AdSense account and setting it up. So signing up for Google AdSense is as simple as creating a Gmail account. And after that you have to install Google Sidekit plugin in your WordPress account and then connect it with Google AdSense account you created and after that wait for a couple of days. You will get a mail from Google that your site is ready to show ads and after that just try getting some traffic on your website and even with 500 to 600 daily visits you can reach the threshold we talked about. So that's all for now. For more details visit the links in the description and if you're having any question in your mind regarding this video then drop a comment in the comment section or DM me on Instagram. So that's all for now. Stay tuned for more amazing contents. I'm Divyan Sharon and I will catch you in the next one.